Om Namo Shivaya students. So today we'll do Unit Seven Fractions Part Eight of your Junior Math Book Five. Last week we had done Simplify, of the same exercise, Exercise Seven D. Today again we will do the Simplify of the next numbers. So question number two A, five minus one by six plus two whole number one by three. Here first you are getting. Minus sign, and after that you are getting plus sign. So first you know what you have to do. You have to change this mixed fraction into improper fraction. So two whole number one by three is equal to three into two plus one divided by three. Three two is a six plus one by three is equal to six plus one seven by three. So here what you will write five by one minus one by six plus seven by three. Now. Here, what you are getting first minus, after that plus. In the simplification sum, first you have to do the addition work. After that, the subtraction. So, as you are not getting any symbol or any sign before this number, the first number five by one. So you have to think in your mind that this number is having plus sign. Okay. So, five by one. You will add first the numbers. So for that you have to arrange the numbers first. So five by one plus seven by three minus one by six. You have to arrange in this way. Now, after arranging these numbers, what you need to do? You have to do the LCM of the denominators. So one three six. Here you see, I have taken three as factor. So one you will write three two the six. Three one the three. Three two the six is the LCM. So this LCM will be written as denominator. Clear? Now six divided by one multiplied by five plus six divided by three multiplied by seven minus six divided by six multiplied by one. So one six is six multiplied by five plus three two is six two into seven minus. Six ones are six, so one into one. Clear? Divided by six. Now six fives are thirty plus two sevens are fourteen minus one ones are one. Divided by six. So thirteen plus fourteen, forty-four minus one. Divided by six. What you are getting? Forty-three. So forty-three by six is your answer. But this is in improper fraction. So, if you get any answer in improper fraction, what you need to do? You have to change this into mixed fraction. So, here you see, forty-three divided by six. What you are getting? Seven as quotient and one as remainder. So, what you will write? Seven whole number one by six is your answer. Clear? Now, see the next number. Three a, ten minus three by four minus five by eight. Here. You are not getting any denominator of this ten. That means this ten you will think as numerator, okay? And denominator you will think in your mind that is one. You can show that also. So ten by one minus three by four minus five by eight, okay? Now you have to do the LCM according to the process. So four and eight. If you do LCM, four as common factor. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. So four twos are eight is LCM. This LCM will be written as denominator. Now the same process will follow. So eight divided by one multiplied by ten minus eight divided by four multiplied by three minus eight divided by eight multiplied by five. Here no space is there. So the rest of the sums you have to see in this part. Now I am telling that. Eight divided by one, one is the eight into ten minus eight divided by four, four to the eight, so two into three minus eight divided by one, eight divided by eight is equal to one, so one multiplied by five divided by eight. Now eight times the eighty minus three to the six minus five one is the five by eight. Is equal to now. Here you have to see 
where you are getting two subtraction sign means two minus sign one after another means one before the number and another one after the number what you need to do you have to change the second sign as plus okay so first number is plus as i taught you that where you are not getting the symbol that means the first number is not having before this number you are not having any symbol you have to think it as plus so you have to arrange this one as 80 minus 6 and the second sign will be changed as plus because minus and minus it will become as plus 6 plus 5 by 8 okay now according to the process what you need to do first first in the simplification sum you will do first division after that multiplication then plus then minus so here you have to do plus means addition first so you will write 80 minus 6 plus 11 divided by 8 okay now 80 minus 11 if you subtract you will get 69 by 8 is equal to this is a proper fraction what you need to do you have to change it into mixed fraction so 69 divided by 8 8 as quotient and 5 as remainder so what you will write 8 whole number 5 by 8 is your answer clear now you are getting one question sum problem sum is there question number 4 how much bigger is 12 whole number 1 by 2 than the sum of 4 by 15 plus 19 by 5 plus 4 whole number 3 by 20. Okay. So, what you have understood by learning these questions? That means, this sum you have to take out first. After that, you have to see that that sum, what you have got after adding these numbers, that sum is how much less than this number, 12 whole number 1 by 2 or 12 whole number 1 by 2 is how much bigger than this sum. Okay? So, here you are getting two mixed fractions. First, you are doing the addition. So, you have to change this mixed fraction first into improper fraction. Here you see 4 whole number 3 by 20. So, 20 multiplied by 4 plus 3 divided by 20. Now, 24 is 80 plus 3 divided by 20. 80 plus 3 is equal to 83 divided by 20. Clear? Now, we will write 4 by 15 plus 19 by 5 plus 83 by 20. Now, the next process is what? You have to do the LCM of the denominators. So, here you see 15, 5 and 20. Common factor I have taken as 5. 5 3 is a 15, 5 1 is a 5, 5 4 is a 20. So, 5 into 3 into 4. 5 3 is a 15, 15 4 is a 60. 60 is your LCM. So, you will write this 60 as denominator. Clear? So, now 60 divided by 15 multiplied by 4 plus 60 divided by 5 multiplied by 19 plus 60 divided by 20 multiplied by 83. Okay, now 15 fours are 60, so 4 into 4 plus 12 fives are 60, so 12 multiplied by 19 plus 60 divided by 20, what you are getting? 3. 23 is a 60, so 3 into 83 divided by 60. Now 4 fours are 16. If you multiply this one, you will do this work in your rough. When you get the bigger numbers, you will not get the table. Then you have to do the rough work. So I have done. So 19 multiplied by 12, 228 plus 383. You can do this one verbally also. You see, 3 3 is a 9, 3 8 is a 24. Okay, 249. So 16 plus 228 plus 249 divided by 60. Now, if you add these numbers, you will get 493 by 60. Clear? So, you have got the sum. Now, the second part, 12 whole number 1 by 2 is how much bigger? So, 12 whole number 1 by 2 is bigger than 493 by 60 
is or equal to 12 whole number 1 by 2 minus 493 divided by 60. Now, this is mixed fraction. You have to change this one in improper fraction. So, 12 to the 24 plus 1, 25. So, 25 by 2 minus 493 by 60. If you do LCM, you will get 60 as LCM. Clear? So, 60 divided by 2 multiplied by 25 minus 60 divided by 60 multiplied by 493. Okay? Now, 230 is a 60 multiplied by 25 minus 61 is a 60 multiplied by 493 divided by 60. Clear? So, 30 into 25. I can do verbally, but if you can't do, you will do rough work. See here, 25 0 is a 0, 25 3 is a 75, so 750. This one 493 into 1 means 493. So 750 minus 493 divided by 60. So if you subtract what you are getting 257 by 60. So is equal to if you change this improper fraction into mixed fractions what you are getting 4 whole number 17 by 60. Okay. So you will write in your answer. So the number is 4 whole number 17 by 60. I think you have understood. So, you will do the sums in a CW copy. Exercise 7G, person number 2345. All the sums of these numbers you will do. And I am ending my class here. Have a nice day. Om Shivaya.